want to hear from you. Jeff Hardy. That's pretty neat, Carlos. Thanks. Let's see what yours does. Okay. Here goes mine. Oh, wow. That's really cool. That's really neat. Hey, look at this. I've got something really different. What kind of boat is that? It looks like a little wash tub. It is. It's dreaming in a tub. Three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butchers are baker, they can all stick makers, so turn them both names all three. Now I've got something I want to show you. This is a shrimp spell. Listen. Hey, what have you got there, Jason? It's a shrimp spell, Barney. I brought it to school because we've been talking about boats. Oh, and I see you've been making boats too. Uh-huh. We use things we found at home, like milk cartons and straws. Oh, you all did a very good job. Thanks, Barney. May I show you something I brought to school? Why, well, sure, Carlos. <laughs> I'm show and tell today. <laughs> Isn't this cool? Oh, it's a tiny boat in a bottle. How do you think it got in there? I don't know. My dad said he got it from an old sailor who sailed all over the world. Ooh. Wouldn't it be neat to have a real sailboat and go anywhere we wanted? I think it'd be fun to just go down a stream in a rowboat. Well, that yeah. would be fun. You know, you can make your own rowboat right here. You can? Sure. With a little imagination. Looks <laughs> like we're ready to go. Hmm. I think we need something else. Whoa. <laughs> now we're ready. Let's start rowing. <laughs> Coco Island. 
because it had lots of coconuts on it. <laughs> now, the first thing the sailors had to do was to choose the kind of boat they would take to the island. Now, what kind of boat would you choose? <laughs> Let's see. There's a kayak. The kayak won't work. It's just for one person. What about a canoe? No, that's not big enough for Barney. Oh, it would be a tight fit. <laughs> a rowboat's not big enough either. Mm. What about a motorboat? That's bigger and it can hold a lot of people. But remember, the island is far away and the treasure might be very big. Then we'd better get a bigger boat. Now, that looks like a great boat to take on an adventure. It looks like the boat we made on the playground. I like that boat, too. It has big sails that can catch the wind and take you anywhere you want to go. Now, besides food and water, each of the sailors decided to take one special thing for the trip. Now, what special thing would you take? I take my camera. It's a special kind you can use in the water. Oh, very good. I take my compass. A compass tells you which direction you're going. North, south, east, or west. Oh, that would be a good thing to bring along. <laughs> I take my binoculars so we can see things far away, like an island. Excellent. I take my boat in a bottle. <laughs> and what about you, Barney? Oh, I take all my good friends. <laughs> and I take my blanket. <laughs> Your baby Bob. Yes, Baby Bop, a very special story, and you're all going to be in it. Oh, goody! <laughs> well, let's start again. Once upon a time, some sailors went to search for a treasure on Coco Island, which was far away. So they loaded up their boat, pulled up the anchor, and got ready to set sail. <laughs> Sail to Coco Island to look for treasure. Yeah, let's go. Where's Stella, Barney? Oh, I think we'll be seeing her before long. It really feels like we're out on the ocean, Barney. Oh, it's fun to pretend, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> let's go on an adventure, a sailing adventure. There's a great big world to explore. Let's go on an adventure, a sailing adventure. Thank you. 